Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, after yesterday's confrontation between Kimani Wamatangi and William Kabogo, today UDA has continued with their campaign. In fact, they were they have been in Gatundu, <laughs> but the funny thing, Moses Kuria, together with William Kabogo, did not attend that rally. Instead, these two had their own meeting. And after that meeting, there is one thing they are saying on their, on their social media. They are very clear that Hatupangwingwe. This is what Moses Kuria posted on his Facebook page. And again, Rigathe Gashagwe, not Rigathe. <laughs> William Kabog has done the same. Kiambu is in safe hands. Namusi Tujaribu. That is Honorable William Kabogo Gitao. Hashtag Hatupangwingwi at Moses Kuria. Now, I want us also to read what Moses Kuria also posted. It's almost a similar thing. This is what Moses Kuria is saying. Kiambu is in safe hands. Hashtag Hatupangwingwi. And you can see, of course, they have been somewhere in a meeting. That means they are discussing, trying to digest on what was happening that yesterday. But in as much these two have been having this meeting, and they have refrained from going to UDA rallies. Because, you know, in Mount Kenya, we cannot say Kenya Kwanza rallies. Actually, these are UDA rallies. Pauline Joroge also has a message to them. In one way, Pauline Joroge, for the first time, he's trying, she's trying to defend William Samuel Ruto, but at least there is something meaningful in what she's saying. But again, this is just a message Pauline Joroge is giving to William Kabogo and Moses Kuria. This is something they just needed to know. This is what he say, she's saying. It's usually difficult to support Ruto in anything because he himself changes position like garments. But today I will defend him. I, I can't have a candidate within my party for a certain seat, then be expected to support the other candidate going for the same seat just because we are in a coalition. <laughs> of course, I will favor my candidate, release resources to him, and even in, and even in rallies, ensure he has due advantage over the other candidates also present. It's just the it's just the right and the smart thing to do. Kulia Nakabogo Wajipang. That is the message from Polino Joroge to Moses Kuria and William Kabogo. This message is not for William Samuel Root. <laughs> now the question we are asking ourselves on this panel today, what next for Moses Kuria? and William Kabogo, since they are an invited guest in UDA. That is what we want to try and analyze here. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, what Pauline Joroge has talked about, it is true. There is no way Ruto will have a candidate in Kenya Kwanza, and then he don't support that candidate. And instead, he favored the opponent. It will never happen. It will never happen. Because of that, Kimani Wamatangi will be given enough resources to campaign. He will be heavily funded by William Samuel Ruto directly because he has a message he wants to send to Kiambu. Remember, Kiambu is very rich in terms of votes after Nairobi. It is the second. So you cannot neglect Kiambu or take it as a light matter. Having a governor in Kiambu is almost similar to having a governor in Nairobi. <laughs> After Nairobi governor, the next powerful governor will be a governor from Kiambu. 
That is the truth. So William Ruto has interest, and his interest is to, to send a strong message by stamping UDF footprint in Kiambu County, and that is going to happen through Kimani Wamatangi. So that is the game plan William Samai Ruto has. When they will get to any rally, Kimani Wamatangi will be favored. It will never matter. He will be favored. And he is going to be helped through UDA party. That is a message Moses Kuria and eh, William Kabogo need to know. And what next for these two? The only way Moses Kuria and eh, William Kabogo can survive in Kiambu is not even by going into meetings that they are having as of now. Because you tell me, William Kabogo is looking to become the Kiambu governor. Moses Kuria is looking to become Kiambu governor. This meeting these two are having, how is it helping them? Because all of them, they are worth competitors. They are running for the same seat. Unless one of these two is stepping for the other one, none of the meeting they are having now is going to help them. Never. Because they are pulling into different directions. <laughs> Hatuwezi kuwa tunakatia msiana mmoja then una expect tena tukae mkutano mmoja to discuss bila tunaenda katia msiana mmoja when we know it's only one person who will go with them huyo msichana that tells you the frustration in Moses Kuria's mind and the frustration William Kabogo is facing as of now the final thing is that these two walijipeleka wakaingiza kichwa chao kwa kichinjio. And now they have to face the issue. The only way they can make some impact in Kiambu it is by going direct to the people. Avoid attending UDA rallies the same way they have done today. But by avoiding attending UDA rallies does not mean they go for this meeting they are having. They need to go on the ground. Have one-on-one -on -one discussion with the people of Kiambu. In fact, this rallies will never help to give votes. You cannot look for the governor vote through this mega rallies we are having. The best way to reach out to the people and get their vote is by having those village to village rallies. Meet people one on one. That is the only way they can salvage. So Moses Kuria, even if he want to go into a rally with the with the William Kabogo, tell me Moses Kuria Nasema Nipigia Kura. William Kabogo Nasema Nipigia Kura. They cannot have a similar rally and expect to win. Of course, all of them are going to divide this world because they are going to share and that already it will give advantage to the Jubilee candidate James Nyoro and if these two are not careful the race in Kiambu might be between two people it might be a race of two horses and that will be Kimani Wamatangi UDA candidate very strong and the Jubilee candidate James Nyoro the current governor So, one-on-one -on -one meeting and rally is going to help these two. Remember, they are part leaders. And because they are part leaders, they also have candidates who are running on their parties. To Jibebe, Nachama Chakazi. So, if they will keep on lamenting, even their members are going to lose more. So, William Kabogo and Moses Kuria should go their separate way if all of them are going to the battle to the end. If they want to support one another, maybe want to step for the other, then better. I don't know if that was part of the discussion they had in this meeting. But the way I see things, there's no way none of these two can, can, can cede ground for the other. No, it will not happen. Seemingly, they are going all the way to the ballot. So separate. Work on your own. Reach out to the people one-on-one. -on -one. Forget about UDA rallies. 
Look for your own resources. That is the only way they can make some impact in Kiambu County. But if not, then they should just prepare to watch on Kimani Wamatangi against James Nyoro in this race. The other issue that they will face in this election is about resources. Remember, their opponents are well resourced. They are running a campaign on a well-oiled machine. William Ruto is heavily funding Kimani Wamatangi. He has enough resources to reach out to the people. And this could be one of the reasons why these people are disgruntled. Same thing to James Nyoro. He is well funded by Jubilee Party. Remember it is ruling party. Jubilee Party is being funded from the political party fund. So they have enough resources because of the kind of numbers they had. And therefore in this election, if we are talking about one of the richest parties we are talking now, Remember, UDA is not getting any political party funds. It is not getting anything. It is depending heavily on William Ruto. You can see the difference. So James Nyoro is well funded in this election. Kimani Matang is directly funded by William Samoy Ruto in this election. Then these two want to face them. They should organize for proper resource. Let them look for the funds. <laughs> if not, they cannot equally compete with the Kemani Wamatangi and then James Nyoro. At least William Kabogo had one advantage. He had served for one term as a governor. I thought he still had his network. Because when you are a governor, you know you will have your leadership going up to the village level. They have even ward administrators. Some even are going to an extent of having village administrators. So if you still have that linkage, it can help. The only person who has no experience of running a county here is Moses Kuria. <laughs> Moses Kuria is just Gatundu member of parliament. And now he has to go across the Kiambu County. At least for Kimani Wamatangi, he has been a senator. He knows the terrain of Kiambu because he has once campaigned for the senator. But Kikuria seemingly is, is a man with the green horn in Kiambu County. So they have to look for a strategy to counter uh, the UDA candidate in Kiambu. Another strategy could be you also organize people to heckle these people. <laughs> like what I'm seeing today in Gatundu. Just also look for a way to organize for them to be heckled because they are organized for your defeat also. But all in all, whatever will play, it is going to work in the interest of the UDA candidate. So, UD, sorry, not UDA, um, Jubilee candidate. Because if Korea is organizing for destruction of UDA candidate, Kimani Matangi, if William Kabog is organizing for the disruption of Kimani Matangi, in whose interest is it working? So, for James Nyoro, it is a, bless, it is a blessing in disguise. Their infight is a blessing to him. I don't know what you think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you. But please, let us meet in the comment section. I want to read your views as we continue in this conversation.